Well, Christmas is coming up. This is the worst month. I absolutely cannot stand December. And when you know it that I was born on Christmas Eve. Yes, Jesus' birthday. And yes, I've been told, you know, when I was a kid that I was special because I was born on Christmas. And that was a gift. And yet, the reason why I hate Christmas so much is because that's when all family abuse starts, is Christmas. All of the pressure of needing to getting the right presents and needing to everything be perfect and, you know, everything needing to be done on time and all of the money and the stress that goes involved in it, um, a family just ends up fighting. <laughs> fighting to create a special day that they spend with each other. It's just, I, I seen every single December, as soon as December 1st came, the insanity started. And I come from a very large family. It was, uh, um, there was 10 siblings my dad had so we would all get to these big family reunions it was like so much fun to get everybody together but in order to get everybody together we had to treat everybody like shit because there was always so much planning and nobody wanted to be involved either somebody was doing all of the work and somebody was always complaining about they're not getting enough attention because other work was being done or there's too much money being spent that you didn't have or you know, we all have to be on time, or, you know, like, it, it's like, you know, planning a vacation. Is it fun just before you leave? Is packing and getting everything ready actually fun, or do you end up experiencing a hell of a lot of stress? And then, it's not about family. It's, it, we've lost that meaning of what Christmas is, you know, supposed to be intended to celebrate, you know, family together. No, it's all about stuff. And one of the biggest things that I hate, hate, hate the most is while I was going through hell because of my ex-husband and his beautiful new wife, who I pay child support for the kids that live in my house, what they don't realize is I couldn't even afford to pay the rent or provide enough food with, you know, working 24-7. Um, on minimum wage because that's the only job you can get when you're dealing with abuse that nobody wants to stop. When you have a stalker, when you have somebody that wants to create as much fucking hell, the only types of jobs you can get are ones that they allow you to cry out while you're working. You know, the ones that you're bruised and you can still work. So you do tend to take minimum wage. That's the only jobs available while you're dealing with this level of abuse. So my kids never got presents. We didn't even have turkeys. And I'm listening to this heavy brainwashing that my children had to listen to that said, only good kids get presents. So what did that teach my children? I'm trying to teach them the difference between right and wrong. They are being really good kids. But the universe keeps telling them the way you behave isn't really good because you didn't get a present at the end of the day. So, you know, Christmas, if you want to find out why crime escalates, <laughs> you brainwashed a lot of people that says that if you behave well, that's not good. <laughs> you actually have to behave badly to get the money to have them, you know, be able to afford the gifts. Exactly like their father did. You know, like crime definitely pays. So Christmas is not only getting you to make everything is about stuff. It's also extremely designed to create criminals to create a lot of pain for other people, to get you to see that doing the right thing is never going to be the right thing. It teaches you that the wrong thing is the right thing to be doing. Because after all, my ex-husband enjoyed a lot of Christmases. He had a lot of stuff. And you know what was even more insulting is his new wife, they had uh, their, their kids, her kids, the stepkids, all had everything they could possibly want. And they had that in front of my kids. You know, if my kid, I, I, that was the time of the year that I would prefer my kids to visit their father or visit a friend, anybody that can celebrate and give them a friggin' turkey or some presents because I knew I couldn't provide for them. So what that did was put my kids 
in the home of their father while they watch their father give the stepchild everything that they possibly could want. I mean, the most ridiculous, overpriced stuff while they gave my kids t-shirts and called that a present. You know, my kids suffered so much during Christmas. I hate, hate, hate Christmas. So, you know, go out, celebrate Christmas, go buy your stuff, go buy that brainwashing and know you're creating in your own society hell for other people. You may think you got yourself a nice little present, but those who have, you know, you're creating the situation for those who do not have. And, you know, while you put your nice little fences up there and think you need to be protected, you ain't seeing the connections to the dot that you created that criminal. You created them to be hateful and evil. And, you know, who are you going to steal from? The guy that has all the stuff. So, you know, if you have all the stuff, look at yourself as being a criminal. And you're creating, you know, the guy that wants to come and steal from you because you keep telling them that, you know, to be bad is a good thing. You know, and then you're going to want to put them in jail. It's like... Let's play that game out. You know what? You can't put everybody in jail, so <laughs> that's why crime never gets solved is because you've created everybody to be a criminal, so we're not going to arrest everybody because everybody would be in jail. <laughs> so there's my thing about Christmas. Hate, hate, hate Christmas. Really wish I wasn't born on Christmas Eve. Really wish I wasn't told that I was special in any way, shape, or form. You know, I'm no different than anybody else. That was another bullshit lie. I know I'm special, but I'm just as special as everybody else on this planet. I'm no more special just because of the friggin' date that I was born on. So there's my Christmas wish to everybody. Don't celebrate Christmas. Or if you do, don't buy any stuff. Don't buy a turkey. Just have a nice meal with family and start enjoying family without stuff. Yeah, it'll crash the economy, but you know, the only guys that are, are getting wealthy off of this little Christmas game are the fucking elites. So every time you want to go and give somebody a present, just know you gave the present to the elites. The guys that you are destroying your planet, <laughs> you know, the guys that are making sure that you lose all your stuff, every present you buy, you just put money in their pocket. And they're laughing at you all the way to the bank. Peace out.